All right, let's go ahead and see how you can use the container. So I'll be showing you container thereafter I'll be showing you form and then tabs. So how this container is different than uh, you know the generic use of these buttons and text and other streamlit components. So in container what will happen so as its name saying that container is something which can contain multiple things together. So you can create a container and that container will keep everything together and uh, then whenever you want to modify something in container you can do those modification in container itself. For example, let me just show you that currently what happens once you write something like let's say st dot write step one and then you write here st dot write and then some step two and then again you write here st dot write and here you write step three. So these three step you write now you see there whatever the sequence you put here in those sequence these will be printed let's say you have done some procedure and in that you put step 3 but this if, if but but this step 3 will be there so basically what will happen here step 2 will come after step 3 which, which seems a little bit wrong if you see their uh, stepwise, step 1, 2, 3. But if you put a container, no matter wherever you call container, it will automatically go at the place where you have placed your container and it will add there. For example, let's say, for example, let's say you have here a container. So I'm just going to put here a container. Uh, I say, container is equal to st dot container and then I say that here border is true so that you can see the container okay and thereafter I set here the height of the container as 200 so now what happened I set a container here all right if I want to add some step in the container I can add those even after this for example if I write here st dot write and then I write here step 3 let's say uh, sorry step 4 so now this step 4 comes after all these but as soon as I put here a container so this step will automatically go inside this container so this container provides you a flexibility that once you have placed your container somewhere, no matter wherever you call that container in the code, that part will automatically go into the container and it will fit there. So that's the beauty of this container. Okay, so let's say you are working with some data and that data is not available at the time when you you are creating this container. So what you can do, you can create an empty container and you can leave it thereafter sometime when data is available to you, then you can use this container and then you can fill the data in the container. That's the use of container. Now let me show you the uh, another important thing uh, how you can use the form here. So I'm just going to write here container form. So why you need to use this form? I write here st dot text input then I say here that enter your name and then you enter your name thereafter you say that st dot write and then you say that your name is and then you print the name and I'm saying here st dot button okay so here is submit what happened here once you put your name here let's say something like this you click on submit so this is there but when refresh happen here you make any change in the data or you change something 
let's say I'm going to put one more input, uh, you know, uh, uh, the text somewhere. Let's say I put it here and I say that input your feedback, then what happens here? So as soon as I put it here something, okay, so it's there, no issue. But but when refresh happen, then, uh, uh, you know, whatever the value is filled here, that value will get erased. So, 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 in that case, what happened here, if you use form, then those value will be there. All right. So if you write here st dot write something. Okay. So internally when refresh happens, so these value will not be here. So for that purpose, you have to use their uh, form. So to use that form, what you can do here with st dot form and then you say that this is my form. Inside this, whatever the code block you will put here, those will not get refreshed if your UI get refreshed. So you write here name is equal to st dot text input and then you say that enter your name. Thereafter you say here that submit button is equal to st dot form submit button and then you say that here submit. If submit button is there then I'm gonna write here st dot write then I'm just gonna say my name here hello name okay so I write my name here now if I click on here you see that this form data is not refreshed here so now I'm going to show you how you can use the tab. So in between I was trying something. So some name got changed here. That is perfectly fine. You can click on and then this will appear here. Okay. So I'm now going to show you how you can use the tab. Suppose that you have a, a, a page where you want to show the tab. So you can use the tabs. You can show the content in those tabs. For example, you can use the tab like this. I'm just going to say that tabs. Okay, so let's use these tabs and then see how these works here. So I say here with tab, uh, not, not like this, sorry. So first of all, you need to get all the tabs together. So you say here tab one, then you get the tab two, and then you get the tab three, then st dot tabs and thereafter I'm going to say that the three tab there so I say here the cat and uh, then I say here the dog thereafter I say here owl it's like that so now with tab one what happened here I'm going to say that st dot header this is a cat now the tab one you will see that a cat and then dog and then owl here okay with tab two I say that st dot header a dog and then with tab 3 I write here ht dot header and then I say here that a owl in fact this should be an owl okay so that's how we have here once you have these tab 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 these three tabs are here the three headers are here now you can design 
these tabs as per your convenience. I'm just going to set here some image. So I set an image of cat. I'm just going to take some cat.png image file. So this image address I copy from there. I place it here. You should be able to see that cat here. Similarly, I'm going to get the dog image. So I'm just going to get some dog image from there. Copy image address. Thereafter, I put here st.image and then this dog is there. Thereafter, here I put here st.image and then I'm going to get here an owl. Let's get this one. Copy image address. I get that image address from here. Now you see it here. So we have cat, we have here a dog and here we have owl. Okay, so that's how you can design the tab in your Streamlit application. Alright, so this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching this. I'll see you in next one.